The scenario shown here is a case scenario whereby an operating pump fails at the process plant. As can be seen in this interface, there are two pumps located downstream of the LP separator V103. One is initially operating in green and the other in red is on standby. At the start of the scenario, as you can well see, the liquid level suddenly increases even though the pump P104A is supposedly in operation. Now the liquid level will continuously increase if no action is taken to counteract this sudden increase in liquid level. If the liquid level goes above the high high level alarm of the V103, the production will be halted and the production will have to be stopped. So what exactly is the problem and how do we solve this issue? If you notice, there is a sudden drop in discharge pressure at P104A outlet at the start of the simulation from 14.18 bar to 10.14 bar. A logical conclusion which can be drawn is that the operating pump has malfunction and this results in no export from P104A. Thankfully, we have a standby pump on site. Now let's see what happens when the standby pump P104B is activated. When the standby pump is activated, voila, as can be seen, the pressure at the discharge of the pumps start to increase again. The liquid level in the vessel will once again decrease to the LIC1031 set point, which is set at 50% of liquid level in vessel. This case scenario demonstrates that troubleshooting skills is essential for day-to-day -day operation of a process plant, and if proper actions are taken immediately, it will potentially save the plant from being shut down due to maloperation of a single process unit. With a proper simulator, it will be possible to make a variety of different scenarios to help engineers improve on their troubleshooting skills.